Hello everyone, Scott Meyer here. When we last left off, uh, Madeline turned out to actually be a superhero with uh, the strength to carry a man inside a cage and still be able to run and jump uh, quite fitfully. We had nightmares for lunch and we are one step closer to conquering Mount Celeste. We're going to make it to reflection. When will I... Did you know it is impossible to outrun your own reflection? <sighs> Ooh, that's deep. To quote Clint Eastwood in Rango, no man quite care of his own story. And I will always love you. Not that I ship him or anything. I'm, I'm just, I'm just quoting a bodyguard song. That's just thought it would be quite funny. Hello. Theo, you're awake. Am I? I'm skeptical. <laughs> I had a messed up nightmare. We all did, Theo. We all did. And I prefer not to go back to those days. Oh, holy <laughs> holy <laughs> yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. That actually happened. Thanks for getting us out of there. I'm glad we were in it together. I don't know if I could have done that alone. Yeah, we needed breathing tips and everything. Oh, am I playing as Theo now? How long was I out for? Oh, um, okay. What's really going on here? How long was I out for? Um, what's really going on here? Clearly, this isn't a normal mountain. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner. Back at the old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. A part I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. You think the mountain made her real? Yeah. She's been haunting me the whole time. She lashed out at Mr. O'Shiro the ghost. I think she was the reason the gondola stalled out. Yeah, we clearly saw her on the roof there, Madeline. I don't know if you saw it, but we, we, we saw it on the roof. Right, guys? You, you saw it? Yeah, yeah. We all agree. We all agree. And she was there, in the temple. Dot. 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 Anyway. Why didn't you say something? Say something, I'm giving up on you. I wouldn't have gone into that temple if I knew when this mountain was capable of. I tried to stop you. <laughs> you could have mentioned that your demon doppelganger was on the loose. Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds. I didn't even believe myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Yeah, after all that we've been through with all the ghosts, uh, nightmare fish, and uh, crazy grannies. Okay. Oh, we get to play with both of them, so, um... How long was I out for? How long was I out for? I must have been for a few hours. Man, what a ride! Tell me about it. Are you okay? I mean, aside from the existential crisis... Oh, oh gosh! Oh, gosh! Don't worry. Don't worry. Just believe. God will guide you, Theo. Whatever it is you're going through. Yeah, I'm fine. Why is, it so, why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly, you remind me of my sister. That's adorable! <laughs> What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. You get along great. Actually, you might not get along at first, but you'd eventually love her. She's a literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool! Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. What? Come on, Theo! Next time you say the word literal, let it mean literal! You seem to use that word a lot. I don't think it means what you think it means. Alex is just amazing at everything. Alex, okay. She's studying to be a civil rights lawyer. Alright, so... Wow! So... How do I remind you of her? You both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh, gosh. Oh. 
Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to go. Bo. Bo. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but um, I have this record recording thing which tells me how long it's recording, and it's currently blocking what that. It's B. That's what it says. B. What she wants to be. I can see that in you. I wish I could say the next same for myself. <coughs> Thank you, Theo, for believing in you back there. I mean... Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. I was pretty useless stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot, even if you were trapped in cage. Honestly, I couldn't have made it without your support. Go back to feather breathing in the previous episode. Your sister sounds great. I really remind you of her? Your sister sounds great. I really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? You're the, old, you're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why. That's classic Alex. I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing the mountain anyway? You're right. I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. Oh, shaky head indicating she's having mental troubles. I'm stuck in a cycle. Oh gosh. You're preaching to the choir here. I've had a many a soul-destroying day job. Work is fine, actually. I just... I'm going crazy. <laughs> oh, she outright said it. I can't stop thinking about that dumb crap that doesn't matter. Oh, we're finally seeing the game, everybody. The brain fixates on those stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. Hmm. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is I'm barely holding it together. Okay, so this is what she's going through right now. I'm sorry, that sounds pretty rough. Stuff. That sounds like pretty rough stuff. Can I help? You're already helping. It feels good to say it out loud. You don't talk to anybody about it, do you? No, not really. Well, maybe your mom? Yeah, I thought so! My mom knows I get depressed and have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink mostly. <laughs> And get mad at people on the internet. <laughs> yep, that sounds like a reasonable place to let off some steam. Who do you think who brought you to the Would you mind talking about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you mind would you mind talking to me about what depression is like? Yeah, um This is getting a bit personal. Um if I just to uh, break the immersion for a moment here. I have no experience with uh, depression. Um, I suppose I did go through an existential crisis um, about a year ago, but I think I've gotten over that. And um, I know several people who have gone through some harsh times, and there's this one uh, girl I know who has been going through panic attacks, and it was not fun at all, basically. She was she was having some really hard times, and she was under so much pressure to the point where she went away from everybody. And we were looking for her, by the time she got back, she was in tears. And we, we comforted her, and we helped her out, and she, she seems fine now, but panic attacks are not good, basically. Okay, back to the game. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blunt and straight to the point. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too. Oh gosh. I really want to understand. We can talk about something else if you want. It's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal, but now it just feels like, just, now I, now it feels just out of reach, no matter what I try. And again, I was probably always messed up. 
Yeah. It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought what I... I guess I thought that I could. I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss, swimming in a random direction, hoping that I find something. That's really why I'm here. But I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. And in this mountain climb, we literally did that in the second level. Maybe this is all pointless. No, climbing mountains always worth it. Melody, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. That's worth it. Yeah. Look, you're a good person, okay? You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think that you're just trying to push out of that rut you're stuck in. And that's a totally legit reason to climb the mountain. Maybe. That's helpful. That, this uh, part of you that's haunting you, maybe she comes with the territory? So you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you too. <laughs> <coughs> that's not helpful! So you want to destroy this part of you? You want to destroy this part of you? Won't that hurt you too? If I don't, she's just going to keep bullying me. She says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. Yeah, yep, yeah, no one can deny that. She could be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. Honestly, who cares? I just want to kick her butt. She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead. Ooh. The baby the master. Oh, yes. The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. We told you that. It's a good way. It's a way it goes. Go, go, go. Magic is free. That's how I imagine the scenario going down. <laughs> just one of the, just one of my grandpas had many nuggets of wisdom. Just one of my grandfather's many nuggets of wisdom. So who do you think built the temple back then? So who do you think built the temple? Yeah, it looks ancient. And it must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. So there is. Oh, we've gone back as early as that um, building. I think that's the oldest territory we've gotten into so far. <coughs> and then it was the the ghost hotel, and then it was the city that was abandoned. Then it was just a little shack with a laughing granny. Yeah. This mountain was meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives there. You ran into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. <laughs> but she does seem pretty content living out here. What about you? What brought you to the mountain? That's a good transition. I'm just kind of bumming around. As usual. I started this new job in Seattle. The mystical, far off land of Seattle, you mean. <laughs> oh, hello, Bob. That's fine, that's fine. You go to the toilet. My mom's back. <laughs> I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life. But I hated it. So I quit after a week and hopped a bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Dot dot dot. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. Everyone is so patient with me. <laughs> I can imagine why, yeah. Though, I guess I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself. People always think I'm comparing myself to Alex, but I swear that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm going. You said you wanted to feel lost? That's the best way of exploring in my eyes. Something I do right. Maybe you should just embrace that for now. True, true, true. Maybe, maybe. Are you close to your grandpa? Are you close to your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. 
That's okay. That's just how it is. Dot. 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 I'm g- all I can do is stay positive. That's what we all do, Thea. That's what we all do. That's how we get through life. That's how we get to heaven. But live a meaningful life. That's exactly what I just said, yes. Because that's what he would want. I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. What else did you learn from your grandpa? What else did you learn from your grandpa? So much stuff. Actually, he was the one who told me about Celeste Mountain. He always said that this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. I felt like he was telling me to come here. Grandma said that... So, gra- I sound like a grandmother. <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry? I did. Grandpa said that the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple like us? The less I know about that, the better. Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. His experience was probably less violent. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like for that. Indeed. I wonder what he learned about himself here. <laughs> Vacation. So, why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you need to change, so you chose to climb a mountain. Why not do something relaxing instead? Because it's challenging and fun? Go to Hawaii or like, take a bath? Or take a bath in Hawaii? I guess I feel like I need to accomplish something. Alright. Sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it is kind of extreme. Yeah, this game is kind of extreme indeed, yes. But that's who I am. I need something to challenge me. I can't just do something a little bit. It's all of me or nothing. And last but not least... You know what? I don't you remember this night? Don't we all? Let's take a selfie. Oh, selfie, you 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 selfie. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's much happier now. Look at that smile on her face. Also, who did these illustrations? They're fantastic. I feel pretty good right now. Wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. I better put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay, good night, Theo. Thanks for being cool. Stay cool. What can I say? Comes naturally. That's what being cool is all about. Good night, everybody. The angels bless you and give you... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, if I'm dreaming again, this is an amazing dream. Heck no, I'm not going back there. Let me just check what's up there. Look, it's the feather from before. Okay, right. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay. Okay. 
โอ้โอ้โอ้ไล่โอ้ The magic feather from Dumbo allows me to fly. I guess there's a tutorial how to use feather. Ooh. Oh. 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 Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Even sounds mystical and heavenly when I step on the the, the, the glass stuff. Oh my. Ooh. I like that sound. Listen closer. All right, all right. I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. And you know what? We're gonna have more of this magic later on.